So this is our uh, um, new high-vis wing to finish uh, feeder. Um, what's unique about this one is we have a rotted wing to finish divider instead of the, the tall solid divider, which gives you, I think, a little bit more head space when you're in there at the feeder. Um, another benefit is that when you're walking to walk in your barn or walking the aisle, you can see into that feeder and see that it's, it's either adjusted correctly. You can see if you got any deads in it without having to get in the pen and look around a solid divider. Um, one thing we did on all of our feeders, uh, larger feeders, that has this divider is uh, we added this uh, spot welded in side brace to help support the, the connection for the divider rod to the side. We kind of regrouped the, the sizing of our feeders now to uh, what we'll recommend will be uh, a minimum of 14 inch head space probably recommend a 15 inch headspace feeder for the size of the animals that we're growing out to now. Um, this one represents a, a 60 inch, 15 inch headspace feeder. Um, we also have a, a wider bottom version of this same feeder that we call our Magnum series. Um, we also make the, the Magnum series in a nursery, which is a wider bottom nursery feeder and also it has an eight inch head space instead of a six inch. Still get the six inch head space nursery like we've always had. You got the option of a bigger space nursery feeder if you think it works for your organization. Pressure washing obviously is going to be a little bit easier uh, so your pressure washing guys might not mind it as bad as they're going through here pressure washing these versus blowing up against solid dividers. So this is our lever lock feeder. So it's new, new design for us this year. Um, we have 24 adjustments at around a 16th per adjustment. Um, it's it's spring loaded for a positive lock-in system. Um, if if you leave it out of the slot, you know, as soon, soon as it gets bumped, it jumps back into position. Um, the design of the lever and the, the cam action that we build in here, you have a lot of leverage. Um, one issue we've had, or the industry's had in the past, was being able to, to force the door down if your feeder was flooded. Um, you got enough leverage here to push through a, a full feed, a full feeder of feed. Um, it's got an index system, so that when, when this feeder's assembled at the factory, it's the, the doors and the adjustment is zeroed out. Everything is, is true. Uh, so when it gets to the farm, you can, you can set all your feeders in that barn on, a, on one setting and it'll be consistent through that barn. Um, there may be some adjustments needed per uh, grind the feed you get from, from one truck to the next, but it'll be fairly consistent from, from then on.